Hey beautiful people, welcome or welcome back. I'm Josie with Awakened Soul if you're new. I hope you're having a beautiful day or night whenever you're watching this reading. We're here for a pop-up and today's pop-up is going to be a deep dive into uh, what's going on with your person, your specific person, as well as the connection itself. I aim to give you some understanding as to what's going on here, what their perspective is, what their thoughts and feelings are about you and the connection, as well as their intentions. We will get some channeled messages out from them to you as well towards the end of the reading, so stick around to see what they would have to say to you right now if they felt like they could be totally open and honest. Um, and then, as always, I will end the reading with a short message just for you and whatever you need to hear the most at this time. So let's hop into the reading, you guys. To get us started, I have pulled some archetypes to talk about um, not only your person's perspective on themselves, the connection in you, but also what reality is, just so we can do a little bit of a compare and a contrast to see whether or not they're accurate and what's really going on here versus what's just happening in their head from their viewpoint. So let's hop into it. Over here on the left, we have your person's viewpoint and perspective of who they are versus reality and what's actually going on within them. In the center, we have their perspective of the connection, their viewpoint of what it is, what it represents versus reality. And then over here, we have their viewpoint of you, who you are as a person um, versus what's actually going on within you. So we're going to get started over here talking about them. That's interesting because we have polar opposite energies coming out here. So your person's perspective of themselves is pretty warped at this time. I'm not sure why that is. Maybe that'll come out a little bit during the tarot. Um, but they seem to view themselves as some type of, um, I just heard the word nasty. So I'm not really liking how your person is feeling about themselves right now. They don't necessarily have the best view of themselves. I think that they're feeling a lot of guilt, shame, regret. Um, and just icky types of emotions um, about themselves at this time. I think that they're being rather unkind to who they are as a person. Um, they just might be like overwhelmed with guilt and remorse of negative things that they have said or done throughout their lifetime. Um, I think that they are in the process of healing though and they're misunderstanding that. So because down here their archetype of what they're actually being represented as is the healer, which is quite opposite. So I think that right now your person might be having some wounds or some things bubbling up to the surface um, for their highest good for the purpose of purging and healing, but they're misunderstanding that and they're not actually like working on healing that they're just kind of stewing in the energy of regret, shame, guilt, and destruction. Um, they're not understanding that those things are being shown to them and revealed to them so that they can let it go, forgive themselves and embody the energy of self love. Okay. Um, I think your person might be perfectionist or just have really high expectations and standards for themselves. So even at the slightest mistake or something like that, they tend to beat themselves up over it and have a really difficult time letting it go and purging it. Wally, shh, gotta be quiet. <laughs> um, yeah, basically, you guys, if your person is just going through it. They might be going through a bit of an awakening right now, and universe might be revealing some things to them for the purpose of their healing and purging it um, so that they can learn to love themselves, forgive themselves, and, you know, become a better person. But they're just, they're, they're not seeming to be aware of that right now, okay? I do think that there's a lot of healing going on under the surface, but the way your person is interpreting it is more painful. Um, again, they're just feeling really guilty and shameful, not only about maybe things that they've said or done in this connection, but in life in general. I think that they are kind of having a big wake up call and, you know, might even be going through dark night of the soul or some sort of um, ego death at this time. Okay. Now over here with how they're viewing you, um, there's something about them viewing you as some unattainable goal of theirs. And I don't know what that's all about, but so maybe you're not in contact with this person right now or something like that, but they do view you as somebody who is like a fever dream in a way. Um, how can I put this? You're probably not in contact with this person because the way that they are viewing you is almost like you're a mystery and it's like they're having a tough time 
understanding whether or not you're real, okay? Um, and I don't mean that literally, like this person definitely knows that you are a real person, okay? You guys probably have history together. At one point in time, you were in communication. You were very close and talking a lot or something like that. Um, but it's like the way your person is viewing you right now is like, was that ever even real? Did that ever even happen? Was it all in my head? Um, they, it's like they're trying to navigate through this darkness, okay? So I do think a lot of these negative thoughts and feelings that are creeping up within them about themselves have a lot to do with you and your connection, and it's disorienting them a little bit. It's kind of like walking through a forest at night. This is the forest, by the way. Um, it's kind of, if you can imagine walking through a dark forest at night, but you see like hazy glows of like fire pits and stuff like that in the background, that's kind of how your person is viewing you and who you are as a person right now. It's like they can see the light, they can see you off in the distance, but they don't know how to get there. They don't know if it's real. It's almost like a mirage in a way. Um, and your person is trying to understand it at this time. It's like they know you are a very real person, but you feel so far out of reach and it's disorienting orienting them and confusing them and they don't know what to do about that at this time. It's equal parts thrilling and exciting to them as it is scary and intimidating. Now what your actual archetype is being represented as right now is actually the siren. So um, there's something very magnetic about your energy at this time, whether you are aware of that or not. I also think that you are embodying a lot of feminine energy. And that doesn't mean you have to be a feminine, okay, um, or identify as feminine for that to resonate. I just think that there is a lot of feminine energy that's radiating out of you right now. Um, you are extremely magnetic as well. So you might be noticing that a little bit because it like a good example of that is like, like you're walking on the street or you're in a grocery store. You might start to notice that people are just staring at you for some reason or people just feel more comfortable walking up to you and randomly sparking a conversation or something like that. And it's because your energy is very magnetic at this time. Um, you are like a magnet um, or your aura is just so bright that people are feeling drawn to you and they might not know why that is. Even if you don't feel like you're super physically attractive, people are very attracted to you right now and they're like seeing that radiating off of you. Your energy, your looks, your aura, just like the vibes you're giving off are like pulling people towards you right now. I don't know what else to say. Um, that seems to be your archetype and it could be throwing this person off too because maybe they're un they're not understanding why they are feeling magnetized to you especially if it's been a while since you've talked to them or something like that but they're still feeling pulled towards you even if you two are not in communication um, and just in general i think in your life you're very magnetic right now and you might start to notice those signs more and more um now that i mentioned that to you like um, it could even be like sometimes when I have a super magnetic energy, I'll notice like butterflies will fly right by me or birds or animals will like just come closer to me when I'm on walks in nature, things like that. It's just because of the energy you're giving off. You're just like a magnet right now. But anyway, connection. <laughs> I'm going to take a sip of my water real quick, actually, you guys. So just bear with me for two seconds. Okay. So the way your person is viewing your connection right now is interesting. They seem to view it as something that's very destined and fated for them. Um, something that is different than any other type of connection they have experienced before, but they might be unable to put their finger on it. I think that your person also views this as some sort of like divine connection, as in maybe the two of you have past lives together or have a soul contract with one another. Seems like your person is aware of this. They're conscious of it because they're viewing this connection as something that is destined and fated and um, very, very precious and special. That's basically how they're viewing it. Whether or not the two of you are together or talking, it seems like you're not right now. They still feel that this connection is fated and meant to be a part of their life, okay? down here representing what is actually going on in this connection and how it's actually represented, you actually got two cards for it. We have the self and the shaman and they came out together and this speaks volumes. Um, the way your person is viewing the connection is accurate. This is a faded and destined connection 
100%. The two of you definitely have some sort of soul contract with one another, soul tie and greater purpose for meeting in this lifetime. Um, but I think maybe both of you at some point in time have misunderstood what that was meant to be all about because it seems like the purpose of this connection is to help both of you wake up and unlock hidden parts of yourself that you hadn't seen before. It seems like the greater purpose of this connection and what's actually going on within it right now um, is a great awakening, helping you to awaken to your true self, to your soul, to learn very, very important spiritual and personal lessons, okay? That seems to be the purpose of the connection and that energy is mirrored. It's not just about you bringing this to your person or them bringing it to you. It's the nature of the connection itself. It's very healing and transformative, awakening, um, and it helps you to unlock hidden parts of yourselves that you hadn't seen before. Um, the good, the bad, and the ugly, things that need to be healed, things that should be treasured, uh, and everything in between. So the nature of this connection just seems to be to heal and unlock things within yourselves. And I just looked up and saw 1111 on the timer when I saw that. So if you feel like claiming this reading, drop a comment down below with 1111 in it to let me know. Um, we're going to hop over to their thoughts and feelings now. That's what we're going to do next. So bear with me for a sec, you guys. Let's clean up the board. And I would like to give a big shout out to the anonymous subscriber who sent this mat in for the channel. Um, it's new, by the way, you guys. If you haven't noticed or if you're new here, I actually had like a grayish cloth backdrop before and I love it like I love the pattern on that but moving cards around was very difficult and like they would get stuck and it was just a hot mess um, this is absolutely awesome I'm so grateful for whoever sent that in um, not only does it help the colors to pop really nicely but like I can actually slide cards around easier now so thank you again that was awesome Let's get out some cards now on their thoughts and feelings about you. I think I'm going to hop over to the Kawaii deck. So let's do that. Talk to me about this person's current thoughts and feelings about the viewer at this time. Okay, we have the Knight of Cups coming out here. the nine of wands whoa that was wild okay this person's fired up about you hold on a second mm. okay this person can't let you go so it seems like again you're not in contact with this person at this time okay um uh, I mean, I suppose you could be. Take it how it resonates with your situation, but I doubt that you're in communication with them, but they're still feeling very stuck on you, and it's something that they can't let go of, okay? Um, this person wants to, like, in their head, there's some kind of hopeless romantic that's going to come in and be the hero and sweep you off your feet and come in with all of this love and romantic energy and romantic gestures, but, like, they're just not doing it from what I can see here. It's kind of all a fantasy in their head. Um, they're determined though. It's, it's weird because this person seems to just be fantasizing about that, but with determination, like in their head, one day they are going to come in and just sweep you off your feet and bring you so much love and romance and all of that. But they're, I don't think that they're actually doing it right now, just based on the cards that have come out. I don't think that this person is doing it, but in their head they are, and in their head they're fantasizing about it, and they're motivated to do it someday because they're stuck on you. Um, they have all of this built-up passion towards you, too, um, like, and, and it just warmth. Like, this person seems to really, really love you very, very much, but they're just not able to breach that barrier right now. Um, maybe somebody blocked someone in this connection or it's long distance or the two of you broke up and decided to part ways, whatever that is. Um, they're feeling blocked and prevented from being able to come towards you, but in their head, they're like fantasizing about it and they're daydreaming about it. And they're in their head one day, they're actually going to do this because they're so stuck on you and they have all this built up passion that they can't let go of interesting i want to see what their actual intentions are towards you now because this is interesting 
talk to me about this person's actual intentions, please. What are their actual intentions? Okay, so first up we have the Knight of Pentacles. Judgment that fell to the floor. I'll grab that in a sec, you guys, just in case any other cards fall. The Queen of Pentacles. And by the way, if you're enjoying this reading so far, this is your friendly reminder to like and subscribe to the channel for more readings in the future. I put out readings every single day, so you will have plenty to scroll through and see which call out to you, okay? Also the King of Swords. Talk to me about this person's actual intentions, please. Okay. This person plans on, like, again, going back to their thoughts and feelings. Their thoughts and feelings are kind of matching up with their intentions in this case. It seems like your person is aware that they're daydreaming about you a lot and that this is all fantasy in their head right now, but they still plan on coming forward towards you at some point in the future, but it's going to take a long time to get there. And they seem to be aware of that. It's like they're devoted to this connection. They're very loyal to this connection in one way, shape, or form, but they know that it's going to take a long time to get there and they're fine with that. They don't seem to be in a rush. So right now your person mentally and emotionally is like fantasizing about you. They're daydreaming about coming in one day with all this romance and sparking something up with you again and all of that. They're motivated to do it, but they know that it's not happening right now and it's matching up with their intentions down here. Like they plan on it taking a long time for some reason. So I don't know why that is, but your person's not in a rush to do it, but they still do plan on actually coming in and being romantic at some point in time, okay? Um, maybe they feel like they need to have more wake up calls first or universe is kind of like hinting at them that it's just not the time yet and they're honoring that. That could be part of it too, is that maybe your person is conscious that divine timing is at play and they need to trust the process and just let things unfold as they're going to. Um, maybe they need to work a little bit more on their communication skills and their finances or something like that too. This person could be in like a financially rocky state right now and they feel like it's just not time yet because they have to work on their finances. They have to work on being a better communicator. Um, and I think that that's what they're doing. It seems like your person's primary intentions to you at this time are to do work on themselves and to heal. And maybe one day bring you some healing and closure in this connection too. And they seem to be committed to that. Like they're going to do that at some point. They're just not in a rush to do it. They have more work that they need to do on themselves first. And they're very aware of that, okay? So your person is self-aware. Okay, let's get out some more info for you guys let's see what should we do next let's do channeled messages I think that's what we're gonna do we'll keep this a little bit short and sweet here today on occasion I do do extended you guys so if that's of interest to you check out my patreon channel um, that info is gonna be down below I do also have a YouTube membership um, where both on Patreon and with the YouTube membership, you get access to different exclusive readings, okay? For roughly five bucks a month each, so well worth it. And I'm also doing a free reading giveaway right now for all of my YouTube members. So if you want a chance to win, don't forget to join us over on the YouTube membership. I will be announcing the winner of that on September 19th. And I also plan on doing these contests on a regular basis. So make sure that you stick around if that is of interest to you. It's my way of giving back to you guys. You bring so much value to my life. I, the, I feel like the least I can do is bring you some value in return. And thank you for all of your support. Will you ever make things right? You let me down. I feel so happy with you. I feel so drawn to you. I still have feelings for you. 
Oh my gosh. Okay, so I feel like that is like literally the conversation your person keeps having in their head all day, every day, where it's like they feel, maybe they feel a little bit betrayed by you or something like that, or that could even just be them acting from a wounded state. Maybe you did do something that really hurt this person and they're having a difficult time letting that go. Um, this could also be them saying it right back to themselves, like they feel like they let you down, they feel like they didn't listen to their own gut, or they let themselves down. Um, they're, they're feeling hurt and stuck and again, shameful and regretful and upset. Um, but deep down inside, they know that they love you. They still have feelings for you. They feel drawn to you like a magnet. What was I saying earlier, you guys? Um, and you do make them very happy. It's just that they, they, they got work to do on themselves. Okay. I look for you everywhere. Maybe that's literal, maybe that's more metaphorical, like they have lots of dreams about you, or they see signs about you everywhere they go. Wish I could share my good news with you. I knew exactly what I was doing. Maybe they were a little bit manipulative. They played games with you or something. Um, just being near you is intoxicating. Yeah, there's just something about your energy that's like super <laughs> magnetic and addictive, not only to this person, but I think in general, like you are like a magnet right now. Like I was saying, you guys, there's just something about your energy right now that is super, super magnetic. I think other people are feeling that way about you right now too. It's not just this person. Okay. I've been praying about us. I wish I was open as you. Yeah, this person seems to have communication issues, especially when it comes to feelings and being vulnerable. I think they are very prideful and it's scary for them to think about being in a weakened state which is their perspective, by the way. I think being able to comfortably be vulnerable is a great strength, one of the best strengths you can have because it shows confidence. It shows um, that you're willing to set healthy boundaries and not be walked on, you know what I mean? Whoa, I hate this distance too. You shine so bright, I'm coming back. I hate this distance. Okay, lots of pinks and blues coming out. Yeah, so this is likely somebody you're not talking to, but again, they really want you to know that they have intentions on coming back at some point in time. Um, you know, I just, because I care about each and every one of you so much, I just, I like to sprinkle in a little friendly reminder that, you know, I, I don't think it's ever really healthy just to kind of wait on the sidelines pining for anyone. I think, you know, in this case, if you still love this person, maybe just love them for from afar for a while and let them do their own thing, do their own healing and live your best life in the meantime. I don't feel like it's ever healthy for people to put their life on pause, sitting around waiting for someone to come around and change because you're never guaranteed for that to happen. Even if it comes out in a tarot reading or if you go to a psychic medium and they say it's going to happen, we live in a reality with free will and things can always shift and change. This person has free will, so do you, you know, even if something is fated and destined for you, things can always shift and change because of that, you know. And also, I think it's important to remember, too, um, that, you know, sometimes we can put our human mind, like our human mind can spin things into something different than what it's actually meant to be. You know what I mean? Um, we can put our own, like, wishes and feelings into it but the true path and the true plan that god and the universe has for that connection might end up looking a little bit different than you had originally thought it would be or hoped it would be you know what i mean so really the best thing you can always do is love yourself focus on living in the present moment um and just enjoying the journey and if this person is really meant to cycle back into your reality they will in divine timing in the most perfect form okay and you really can trust that so anyway let's hop into the confirmation portion we are going to get out some tiles charms i will roll the zodiac dice for you as well we're gonna buckle up keep on going here so let's start with the zodiac dice this could be their sun moon or rising sign or yours we have sagittarius taurus Libra, Aries, and one more. Libra again. Okay, one more. <laughs> Taurus again. Okay, I'm going to stop. 
double notes of Libra and Taurus. All right, let's get out some tiles for you. This could spell out their initials or name. Also could be important words for the connection. We have an H, two A's. Sobriety could be important to this connection. We also have an I, lots of vowels, an O, an M, and a Z. Ham, maybe somebody likes to eat ham or somebody's name could be Hamlin or something like that. Um, honestly, I think that's, that's all I'm seeing. If you guys see anything I missed, you're welcome to comment below. We're going to leave it at that. And I may also get out some extra letters right here in the tiles because we do have some in here too. So hold on. That was way too many. Trying not to grab too many. We also have a G. Okay. We have an elephant. There's definitely obstacles between you and your person. Like, I'm not going to lie to you. There's definitely some pretty major obstacles between the two of you. Um, but the thing is, is that elephants are determined to get through those obstacles. So to me, this represents that there is something blocking the path to each other right now. But both of you are determined to move past it. We have the rocking horse here, which to me represents chariot energy, but kind of on pause and in limbo, okay? So this person, it's going right back to what I already said during the earlier portions of the reading. They are motivated to come towards you. They know that they're going to do it at some point in time, but it's on pause right now. It's kind of in a limbo state. They have that motivation, but they're choosing to put that on the back burner for a little while until the time is right, okay? Okay. We have the two swans here making a heart, okay? Swans represent soulmates, twin flames, um, higher level connections. They also just represent a long-term partnership, monogamy, a deep love connection, okay? Um, and they're making a heart here, which tells me that the two of you love each other even if there are obstacles, even if they um, feel like they can't communicate that to you even if there's something blocking you. There is a deeper level of love that's going beyond the surface right now. Um, and you don't even have to be in communication for that to be understood between the two of you. And maybe one day the two of you are going to come together or come back together, okay? And then we have peace, peace sign. I think that that's important to focus on right now is peace, both of you, to focus on your own inner peace right now. And to make peace with this situation, whether or not you have 3D closure or not, I'm feeling called to say. Whether or not the two of you are communicating, I think it's important that you give yourself peace in this situation. All right, let me clean up the tiles too, actually, guys. All right, what we're going to do next is get you out a few messages from the universe now. It could relate to this connection or not. Take it however it resonates. Listen to your inner voice. Listen to your own inner truth. And owls could be important spirit animals or symbols for you at this time. Okay, so pay attention. Your divine team could be using owls to, like, communicate messages to you. They could be a synchronicity you're seeing. Okay. Let's get out one more. And then I'm going to get your butterfly affirmation of the day as well if you've made it this far into the reading will you comment either an owl emoji or a butterfly emoji or both to let me know that you've made it this far helps me out you guys all right so message number one don't worry you've been waiting what you've been waiting for has why can't i read right now <laughs> scratch that don't worry, everything you've been waiting for is on its way. Progress is being made even if you can't yet see the results. So much is happening behind the scenes for the creation of your dreams. Trust the process. When going through tough times, it is important to remember that nothing up to this point has defeated you. You've overcome challenges before. Be kinder to yourself and be thankful for all that you already have and your affirmation of the day. To claim this, you can read it aloud with me and you can also type it below if you feel called to. Life doesn't have to be perfect in order for me to choose happiness. Today, I choose happiness. Exactly, today I choose happiness. Beautiful. I am going to leave this reading here. Thank you all so much for joining. I hope you have a blessed rest of your day or night, and I would love to see you around the channel again in the future. Bye for now.